you by the teacher fanny pack. If you're tired of your pockets being filled with random teaching supplies or laying down your stuff and not remembering where you left it, the teacher fanny pack is for you. With the teacher fanny pack, always know where your band-aids, pens, hand sanitizer, sticky notes, and dry erase markers are. The teacher fanny pack comes in every school color, and for just $5 more add a school mascot or your monogram to the front pouch. The teacher fanny pack... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sarah's Crafty Corner. Welcome to our first episode of The Teaching View. I'm Jetty Payne, District New Teacher Coach with CCPS. Um, we are excited to bring this uh, resource to you. It's our way of sharing resources and strategies and highlighting teachers from around our district. Today on our show, we are talking about building relationships with students and setting that culture in our classroom. Six key things to do uh, when building relationships with students are to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them, and get to know them and develop an interest in their interests. Look for something positive to comment on. Have a sense of humor and attend student events. And of course, share your stories. For example, um, I would love to welcome our very first guest for this episode, Mr. Jimbo Stewart from Hall Middle. Welcome. Well, welcome to the show. We're excited to have you. It's good to be here. Thank you. Well, just tell us about yourself. Um, my name is Jimbo Stewart. I teach at Hoptown Middle School, and I've been there for two years now, going on my third year. Awesome. Uh, I teach seventh grade social studies, and yeah, I am married. Yes. For not quite a year yet, but getting close. Okay, awesome. And we're expecting our first son in November. Oh, I'm so excited. Is this a little Jimbo? It is, yes. Yay, so exciting. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. And um, so we have asked, we're asking all of our guests to bring a picture of an important relationship with them because that's a big piece of this show. And so we have a picture here that Mr. Stewart has brought. Tell us about this picture, who's in it, and why is this such an important um, picture for you? Yeah, this, this pretty much sums up my life. I mean, you have my wife who I love and we do everything together with. And then I also have my little cousin. Um, we have been very close. He does everything with me, lives with me pretty much during the summertime. And he's going to be a senior this year, which hurts my heart. Oh. And But that's pretty much what we do, too, three, four, or five days a week, is we all get together and we go fishing all the time. Oh, I love that. And senior, that's always tear-jerking. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, uh, as we said, Mr. Stewart teaches at Hawkinsville Middle School, so we know middle schoolers can be a challenge, um, be a little bit tough. So what are some, some suggestions that you have for teachers when they're trying to build relationships with students at that age? Um, the main thing is be genuine. Yeah. And uh, if you're not yourself, they're going to know. Even if, like, I'm a big into outdoors, and as you saw the picture, and I, just, I do bring that into the classroom. I always talk about hunting. I talk about fishing. And even kids that do none of that, they still find that stuff interesting because I am, I try to be myself and everything. Uh, and the relationships are very important. Yeah, for sure. And they can read right through that if you're not. Yeah. So um, starts to build that trust too, that relationship where they can come to you, not just about school things, but things that are going on. They want to know you as a person. So mm -hmm. I love that. So um, also along with building relationships, we talk about those first two weeks, the importance of procedures setting expectations, what are some things that are like essential at, at Hopkinsville Middle or in your classroom that you want to make sure that they know how to do and um, run in your classroom? Um, I'd say our first week at the school, we always go over the rules that are just school-wide rules, mm -hmm. you know, they, just the simple things, uh, the Tiger guidelines, you know, treat others with respect, stuff like that. But as far as it comes to my classroom, we always do get to know you exercises. Okay. And that's... I think that's more important because not only do they find out about you, but you find out about them, and you can kind of see what the students themselves are like. And absolutely, what are some? What's your favorite one that you like to do? Um, I do two major ones. My favorite okay. one is the one I learned at the uh, new teacher institute training. Yeah, sure. whatever training that was, <laughs> which is a snowball game, and they awesome. do like you write two truths and a lie, and then I make them crumble it up. I get in the front of the classroom, I let them throw it as hard as they can at me. And they remember, enjoy, I'm oh, sure. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, I'll pick them up. I don't touch them. I just pick them up as they lay on the ground, and then I'll read them. And then as a class, we try to figure out who's who. Okay. 
that's awesome. So they get to kind of share a little bit, get to know each other in the classroom, mm -hmm. and get to talk to the teacher of snowballs. Yes, they so, love it. <laughs> yeah, well, cool. I love that. Is there anything else that you like to do the first time? Um, I do one more game, and I definitely took it from another teacher. It's like a survival game. Yes. And it really has nothing to do with about school. It's just about survival. But they do enjoy it. You just give them 15 objects, and they, have to, they look 1 through 15. Okay. And they find it super interesting because they think some stuff is worthless and really it's the most important thing. Okay, that's interesting. We'll have to check that out one day. All right, well, we do have an icebreaker activity um, that we're going to do. It is called Beach Ball Icebreaker right after the break. Welcome back to the Teaching View. Mr. Stewart and I are going to demonstrate to you the Beach Ball Icebreaker. This is something you can use very easily in your classroom. You can use a beach ball, you can use a soccer ball, you can use any kind of ball that you'd like. Um, today we're using a mini soccer ball to do this. So um, just like with any other activity or anything you do in your classroom, it's important to set those expectations, to go over what you expect of them. Um, so for this one, for example, we have um, that you will answer the question in, that your right thumb lands on, gently toss the ball around the room, and listen to each other's responses. You could do this by playing music, and then when the music stops, that person has to do it. It's important. Um, to not throw the ball super hard so you're not trying to um, knock anybody out or just tossing it around the room and then um, you'll answer the question that goes with that number on the ball. All right, ready? Oh, you first. All right, number four. four. All right, your favorite vacation spot. Well, me and my wife do national parks and I want to say my two favorite national parks I've ever been to, because I can't do it to one, is either Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico or Glacier National Park in Northwest Montana. Awesome. I've also been to Glacier. That was definitely a high standard there. All right. One. My favorite summer memory. Um, well, both of my girls were born in the summer, so I'm going to be that person that says the birth of my two daughters. We... Um, Summers are just fun. We have a lot of fun, a lot of partying all summer long. So, I believe that's a six. Six, Coke or Pepsi? Oh no, I'm not gonna lie. I don't drink any soft drinks, so I would say water. Water <laughs> is that an option? All right, yep, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> okay, five, role model. Ooh, um, probably my mom. Honestly, she is one of the toughest, selfless people I know. She takes care of people. That's where she, that's her gift, is to take care of people. And um, I admire that. Oh, no. Toss it around again. Oh, seven. Same one? All right. Uh, favorite meal? Oh, dang. Candy. Candy? What's your favorite kind of candy? <laughs> um, I love all types of candy. You know? All my students know it because that's all I do is eat candy. Just eat candy. But uh, my favorite, I'd say either the Starbursts. Okay. Or like the Chewy Sweet Tarts. Okay. Like the big ones? The little ones. The like little, little ones. Round okay. Ones. All right. That is um, how you play beach or beach ball icebreaker. Like we said, you could use it with any kind of ball. We use a little mini soccer ball and just wrote numbers on it. Um, you can write the questions on it if you want to, if you have a ball big enough. Um, but you just toss it around so everybody gets a chance to share a little bit about themselves. All right, so our last question that I want to ask is just what does a typical first day look like in your classroom? Okay, so the first day we're going to start off with how we do it, at least at our school, is every teacher will take a different subject that they're going to talk about. So we'll do, I typically do like hallway procedures, and I'll say that, because we just try to, we want to start off with the general school rules that they just mm -hmm. basic things they should know but you just want to make sure they know and so I'll do about I'll talk about the expectations about I'd say a quarter of the classroom and then I will jump straight into the snowball game so they can start having fun and start not only introduce themselves to me but also to their peers because they're all coming from different schools and they do want to know you know that's when you make a lot of friends and start in middle school so and that's Pretty much what I'll do the first day. Awesome, awesome, and hopefully everybody gets on the right bus and the right car and gets home. Oh, okay, gosh, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being our first guest on the Teaching View. Thank you. Guys.